If you were still deputy leader of the, uh, the Labour Party, what advice would you be given, uh, giving to Jeremy Corbyn, who has got himself embroiled, as you're probably aware, in another anti-Semitism row? How can he move on from this? Well, he's certainly got to. I don't think we've handled the matter uh, sufficiently. It's been badly handled, quite frankly, both through the executive and indeed in the PLP. We have real problems at the moment. As an absolute Labour stalwart to see the Labour Party, where you were talking about Europe, you were talking about the problems that we have uh, in trying to tackle Brexit. The Labour Party, rather than coming forward and rushing forward with that, are embroiled in a party which has actually led it to be Q's, the party of racism. It used to be seen as a party of anti-racism, didn't it? And now it's absolutely it's embroiled in It's not a it. party of... But many people are it's saying that, John, and I just wondered racism. how sad and what that well, made you feel wait, that it's in well, that state. Oh, I'm, I'm sad we're in that state, but a lot of these accusations made, particularly that the, somehow all the Jewish people, all the Labour Party people, millions of people believe the Labour Party would be racist. That is nonsense. It's not true. And basically, but we must sit down and not abuse each other, talk about it. The party haven't handled it well, quite frankly. It now has to continue talking with the Jewish groups and other groups to find a way forward. After the issue, after all the issue, the principle we talk about on anti-Semitism, Labour accepted in 2016. It's an argument about the uh, kind of models that would be involved into interpreting that. So that's not a great deal of difference. It well, is being a big deal of difference. Why don't no they just sign up it? to the International Holocaust uh, Agreement, the working definition of that? He's come short on that. He's come short on saying, I have a problem with the state of Israel, but he should say, I've not got a problem with Jewish people. Why doesn't he just spit it out? Well, first of all, I know that's the kind of way the press interpret it. We signed the principle in 2016. Did you know that? Most no, people I don't, don't know do that. that. They we have not signed fully up to it. Right, well, OK. You... No, no, don't start qualifying your, uh, your, your question well, they have now. not signed, signed fully up, up to the to International Holocaust Remembrance well, Alliance's well, you... working listen, definition listen. fact. No, on the definitions, there is an argument on one small part. But the principle, the one principle we signed up for in 2016, look it up if you want after the programme. We did no, we, that. We've got it in but front then of there us, are John, other I can assure you, and it's not us that are bringing it up, it's the many, many people who say that the four things that they've missed out and refused to sign up to are the four things that are causing the absolute ribbon they, in the party. They were. They were laying down the examples of what it actually meant. But the actual principle, which was agreed in 2016, Labour Party signed up for. But there is a legitimate argument about the examples that follow that to prove whether it's anti-Semitism or not. Basically, we need to talk that through. I think we can be criticised for not talking sufficiently with the various organisations. They say we're going to do that, and we are doing it. Get on with it. Stop okay. abusing. Get on and talk with it. The Jewish people are right to want to argue and be concerned about this. But I've got to say at the same time, there's an awful lot of politicking going on with this, along with the press as well. But please, let's ignore that. Sit down talk, find the agreement. But don't forget, it's not that you have to absolutely accept everybody's word. The party has got to argue for its case, and I don't think it's done that too well, and it's not been helpful.